Do you know that the most popular digital product on Etsy is the digital planner? You can create various types of digital planner and sell them on Etsy to generate a lot of money. So, in this video, I'll show you how to make a digital planner with hyperlinks using Canva. This video also includes a giveaway, so don't miss it. Watch the entire video to get the fantastic giveaway, so let's get started. Open Canva to begin. First, you must choose a planner size. You may provide a custom size, but I will search for a planner template and create a blank default size. Now we must design our own planner. I've already created my color code for the planner design, so I'll upload that first. I will design the month tabs now, and you must design all 12 month tabs. My month tab is complete. Because all 12 tabs are present, it is correct. I'll name them right now. This font does not look good, so I will change it. Put it on the first tab. Name each tab with its month name. We must now add a calendar to our planner. You can do this by searching for a ready-made calendar under the template tab. Since I have already done this, the calendar is displayed here. Let's add this calendar to our planner. To new page, add. We only need the month, we don't need the background. Copy and paste these months onto the first page. I'm deleting these extra elements because they look bad. As these fonts also appear large, I'm making it smaller. It now appears better. Let's add a heading to our plan after that. To make the text look nice, add a box behind it. I'll also add a few other elements also. Let's add this one. Adding line here will make it appear good. Let's add an activity tab here at the top. And then take these boxes and place them here at the top. I forgot to include the calendar year, so I'm doing so now. Now, give these tabs a name. I've named four tabs, Home, Grocery, Budget, and Notes. You can name them whatever you want. We have to create these month pages now. To create these month pages, search 2023 calendar in the Templates tab. I like this one. Let's add this design and convert it to our theme design. Copy these tabs from the Home page. and delete all of the extra elements from here that we don't need. Now paste the tab onto this page. I'll also copy and paste this calendar year here. These fonts are also different, so I will change them as well. This is the only one left, I'll change it right now.
Let's add a month heading. I'll name this month January. I'll fill the boxes with colors to make it look great. Let's add some elements to this page because it's still not looking good. Copy and paste these elements to the other page. This page is also finished. You must create all pages in this manner. I have already created all 12 months pages in advance so let me show you. As you can see, I have created pages for each month. That after, we must create these activity tab pages. Let's create a new page for grocery. You can include a ready-made template by searching for it here. As you can see, there are multiple templates to choose from, both free and paid. As previously stated, you can create your own design, but these ready-made templates save a lot of time. Now I'll customize this template to fit my theme. First, I'll change all of the text fonts. I'll also remove the extra element from this page. I'll now add top and side tab buttons to this page. Copy this. Paste here. Finally, I'll change the box's color to fit my design theme and add a few finishing touches to make it look nice. It is now finished. Guys, by adding pre-made templates, you can easily create the other three pages in a similar manner. So, I'm not showing the other three pages processes. After that, I'll complete the final steps by adding hyperlinks to the All tab. You must add the hyperlink to each tab. First, let's add a hyperlink to the Side tab. To do so, click here at the three dot, and then here at this link button. It displays all of the pages, but they are not named, so we must first name them so that we can identify them. Because page 1 has already been named, we should begin naming from page 2. This is my budget planner page. As I previously stated, I have completed all of my pages. Now we must add a link to the tab. I'll remove the underline that it's adding automatically. Similarly, you add a hyperlink to each side tab. The side tabs have been completed. That after, we must link these tabs to the month pages. Let's do it. Our months tabs are also hyperlinked, and we must finally link these activity tabs. As you can see, we've linked all of the tabs on this page. Guys, make sure you add links to all of the pages, or else the other pages will not work. To link them, you must go through the same steps. Download this planner as a PDF after you have completed all of the hyperlinked pages. Guys, I'm giving away this digital planner to all of my viewers. You can download it from the link in the description box and use it anywhere. Let me now show you the final result of my digital planner. As you can see, it functions properly, and all of the tabs are clickable. You can also create any digital planner by following the steps I've described, and you can generate a lot of money. If you enjoyed my video, please like, share, and comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.